Vic was a very active boy. He started out in martial arts at six years old and was just an all he always wanted to do the best for people and, and was good. He was a good boy. A right, regular rambunctious kid, uh, you know, getting into trouble, taking things apart, putting them back together. He'd done a lot of playing around with burning stuff and blowing stuff up around the house and with the neighbor kids. When did he start to show an interest in the military? He talked about it off and on, but the real big thing was, was after 9-11. I believe yeah, that was the catalyst for him, that he really was determined to go in. I guess he chose Air Force because I was in the Air Force for nine years, and uh, his grandfather next door was retired Chief Master Sergeant after 30 years. He wanted to be there on the front line. He wanted to um, make sure that everyone else was okay that he felt he could take care of everyone else. But at the same time, being scared as a mom, knowing that um, going in as infantry, that he was gonna go on the front line. But you still kind of think they're gonna be able to take care of themselves. I tried to uh, explain to myself that being an explosive expert helped him be safer because so many of the guys over there were killed because of IEDs. And rather than being surprised by walking across one, he was actually going to be purposefully searching for them. It really was the worst part of the war in Sangin, in the Helmand province of Afghanistan. Um, it was right after um, 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines had taken over after the British had left. Can you tell me about October 13th? Truly the worst day of my life. Figuring everything is okay. And in fact, that morning, someone had just asked me about my son. And I literally had said, no news is good news that morning. And um, little did I know that that was probably really close to the time that he was killed. The vehicle Victor was riding in was hit by an IED, killing him and the three other Marines inside instantly. It'd be his regiment's greatest loss of life in a single day, but 20 more Marines would die before the three-fifths tour was over. I just couldn't fathom that it was my son, my oldest son, you know, not my Victor. Victor was always able to take care of himself. Uh, again, not really realizing the full capacity of what was going on over there. I'd been on the phone talking to my daughter-in-law. She had mentioned that he had missed uh, one of their communications. I was standing at my computer and looked and there was a CNN um, notification alert in my email that said um, something about an explosion and uh, eight or nine people killed or something like that. So I told her, oh, he's probably going up there, his team's probably going up there checking out that explosion. Come to find out that as she hung up from me, these two guys were coming up the walkway to her house to notify her that Chris was killed. So that CNN report was not a job that he had to go to, but he was talking about him and his team that were killed. I would love to see this end. I would love to see it end in a way that, I want to say everyone is happy, but 
of the over 7,000, almost 8,000 military members that have died since 9-11. We're always missing a piece of our heart. We're missing that person at our table.